Good afternoon, curling fans, and welcome to the Everest Canadian Senior Curling Championships. We are live from the Community First Curling Center in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, for men's and ladies' action. Our feature game today is a men's battle in Pool B with Team Alberta taking on Team Northern Ontario. I'm your host, Peter Steski, and I am joined in the booth by the six-time yeah, Canadian champion and Everest Curling Ambassador Randy Furby. Randy, happy to have you back. Yeah, we're looking forward to this game. We're glad to be back in the booth. Uh, yeah. This game is uh, shaping up to be a really, really good battle. It's uh, starting to get a li little later in the week, and these some of these teams have to win now. They're in a must situation that they got to win, and some are little, some are quite comfortable here. But uh, you know, over the next two days, they want to get their game up to up to a level that they think they can li that they can win this event with. So this is this is a good this is going to be a good battle today. Yeah, Alberta comes in undefeated at 4-0. Playing out of the Lac La Biche Curling Club, lead George White, second Don Hollywoodchuk. Might have butchered that, Randy, not sure. Hollywoodchuk. Hollywoodchuk. Barry Schwedorik and their skip Wade White. And from Northern Ontario, playing out of the Fort William Curling Club in Thunder Bay, lead Bill Peloza. Second, Dan Wierisma. Third, Scott Henderson and their skip, Mike Desilet. They're uh, three and two, Randy. They would like, I think, a win here would punch their ticket to the championship round and a loss could leave them in some messy uh, tiebreakers. Yeah, yeah th uh, three losses will potentially get you in the crossover or in the, or the top half, but uh, then, but the battle is going to be very tough. Uh, some of these teams are going to go undefeated or with one loss in the crossovers and it, and those scores or those standings count uh, moving forward after that. So this is almost a must win for Northern Ontario to win this game. Yeah, to Randy's point, we're playing 14 teams, two pools of seven, six game round robins. The top four in each pool advance and they play crossover games, but the records do carry forward. So it's very important to pile up as many wins as possible. Ladies and men's final on Saturday. Northern Ontario opening here with the hammer. Chance for Don to play the out turn come around. You're very familiar with Don, Randy. Yeah, it's Dan actually. Uh, but Dan, Dan was our, our fifth fifth man for all the Briars when we played with Dave and uh, Scott and Marcel. He did a great job with us. We had a lot of fun with this guy. And I just love seeing him win, you know, uh, as he watched us win a lot of championships. Now it's my turn to enjoy watching him and this this team won this event a couple years ago so they're looking forward to doing that again i've only been uh, talking to the guy at breakfast every day for two days and i can't call him the right name on the live stream <laughs> he's gonna love that when he sees this nice come around there these guys are the 2017 canadian senior champions they won the 2018 world senior championship but a lot of experience on this Northern Ontario team as well. Dale in the hack right now was at the 1998 Briar representing Northern Ontario. One of the few Briars you didn't play in around that time, Randy. I was probably too young to play too back then. Young. Yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't let me in there. This is a spot we see a huge finish here. This is going to wreck on the guard. If you're sweeping early in this spot, you've probably missed because it curls a lot. But that is still a great shot. Opens up the front, rolls a shooter, maybe a biter. Yeah, I think it uh, is definitely a biter. So Wade's a very aggressive call the first thing. A lot of teams that play the hit and roll off that, but he's looking to corner freeze or to guard the, the backstone. I, lo I love this call. So Dan looking to play the out turn corner freeze. I also... I. I think it's an aggressive play, but uh, what are you going to do? You got a big bet with Hackner right here on this one. Oh, I, I don't bet with Al anymore because he never pays his debts. It's funny because when yeah. you weren't in the booth, we said the exact same thing about you. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's a little monkey see, monkey do right. situation with the two of you. <laughs> this is over curling. This is going to give him an opportunity to throw a hack weighted, though, the, the rock and the forefoot there. Yeah, they'll see you. probably close to half of that rock. They could also opt for this run through where they're going to go green onto yellow onto green. Line it up. 
Yeah. First thing, I'd probably take a chance of going after that back one to sit too and put a little bit of pressure on him on Team Alberta. But this would work out though too, if, you know, half a rock, three quarters of rock. And Not gonna do it for the angle. Missed the back one. But clears everything up, but uh, now I think we'll see Wade have Barry just uh, lob down a center guard there on their shot rock. The entire Alberta team did win the aforementioned 2017 Canadian Championship and they won the gold medal at the World Seniors in 2018. A little weird that you have to wait a year to play that. I think he's there, similar to yours. And I think this is the third or fourth year that they've been at the Canadian Seniors, representing Alberta. Yeah, they didn't really fill out their bio as far as that, but uh, some of the guys actually did. 2013, 17, 18, and 19. Four times. Nice tight guard here. Very nice shot. I think we'll see the run back out of Scott Henderson. Scott's a three-time Briar participant, 1991, 93, 2003. His nickname is Orbit. So many champion curlers come out of the Fort William. We had Al on here earlier. His home club for many years, using the stabilizer. I don't know if he's looking too stable though. It looks the interesting homemade device it looks like there. But. But a perfect curling shot, shot from Scotty. We used to play against Scott quite a bit back in the day. Super nice guy, him and Mike. I played Mike back in juniors, actually, Randy, about 10, 12 years ago. Right, right. <laughs> the math might be off. Just a hair there. 20 years. <laughs> hey, it's been a long week. So Wade's just uh, electing to throw another center guard here. and Aggressive yeah. start here. I mean, guard. Scott could easily draw around this one if he wanted to. They, they want this to be oh. tight. Hard. Go, go. Good scrub by the boys go. here. Keep it going. A lot of movement on that rock there. Yeah, you got it edge on edge. They, they can see the entire thing. And Scott throws a fairly soft handle, at least he used to. I'm sure he might have modified it a bit over the years. But do uh, you think there's room we can sneak underneath here with the roll, Randy? Oh, I think it'll definitely go sideways here with the, with the, with the right amount of weight here. Back, you know, hack weight, board weight, it'll be going sideways if he throws it properly and coming into it. Might be a hair wide. They're trying to carve this yep. one over. Pull it over. Pull it over. Keep going. Girl. And a good shot. Good scrub on the nose. Opportunity now for Wade with his first to make the roll underneath. Still dangerous, Randy. If he rolls underneath, it's a short little run back, yellow. Well, yeah, it is. You know, and, it, and if he rolls a little bit too far, it's going to force Northern Ontario to throw the outturn freeze at it. So. You know, I, I mean, an option is to roll to the wide side or the open yeah. side. Do you like that play? Yeah, well, is that enough? It, it, well, you could actually debate point, which yeah. which one you want to do. You know, you, you, you hit and roll, and then you make you force them to make a little more difficult shot than the wide open hit on the wide side. We've argued enough this week, so I'm not going to debate with you. But uh, I agree. I, I think you could go either way. More pressure if you make the roll underneath. The safer shots to roll away. These well, guys close. don't look like they play safe too often, though, and that's how you win. That's that's a pretty good shot. Provincial Canadian and World Senior titles right there. A great shot right out of the gate from Wade White. Mike Desilet is going to play the intern run back. He was a three-time Pepsi Junior Men's Canadian uh, curling participant. He lost the final, I believe, in 1988. He was All-Star third. You ever win All-Star third at the Juniors, Randy? Never ever had the opportunity to to go to the Juniors, and uh, they didn't have it I mean, back then. Yeah, they had them back then. It just wasn't good enough. It didn't. No one would play with me back then. So I understand that. <laughs> yeah, you're familiar with that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well aware. 
In turn, a run back here from Mike Desilet. Trying to make it to curl. I think he's going to be close. Just over the top. Nope. So good chance to force now. Wade just has to put this rock anywhere in the rings, basically. Wade was nice enough to fill out our bio. His favorite curler is the legend out of Calgary, Paul Galzel, and his favorite movie is The Hangover. And you can attest, Randy, that if you're going to spend any time with Paul Galzel, you're probably going to wake up with a hangover. Yeah, it's, it's so true. It's uh, uh, him selecting Paul to be his favorite cross. I mean, a lot of our viewers won't even know, remember who Paul Galzel was, but he, he is a character. He's one of, the, one of the greatest personalities ever to play the game. You the short time that he did, he got to the briar a couple times or one time and that was it. But he was a great friend and he was, he was a phenomenal curler actually that brought a lot of attention to our sport. You should Google that at home, Paul Galzel, G-O-W-S-E-L-L. -L. Absolutely dominated curling in the late 70s up until about 1980. Lost the semifinals to Al Hackner in that briar and he sort of disappeared for a little while. Sliding pretty good, but it's going. Well, I don't know if it hang, hung on or not. It's hard to say. I think it's out and gives Northern Ontario the opportunity for a blank. Uncharacteristic mistake there from Wade. First end draw. They probably didn't throw too many there in practice. I would think most of the draws go towards the forefoot as they warm up the path to the button. No. It's out. So confirmation that rock is out according to Skip Mike Desilet. He's going to throw the intern peel here. Chance to keep the hammer. Northern Ontario really needing a win here. Coming in with three wins, two losses. Alberta undefeated at 4-0. They've got a huge game tonight against Ontario. Good throw here, no mistake. And we have a blank in the first. So Randy, you're working with Everest. You have been for quite some time. We were at a, an amazing event last week put on by Curling Canada and the Ottawa Hunt Club. The hospitality Everest brings to the table is amazing. Not only do those curlers win their rings, their national championship in their jackets, but they're going to be presented that stuff in a four day, four night, all expenses paid trip to Las Vegas. Just talk about what uh, everything Everest is doing for the game. This is the seventh year sponsoring this event. Well, one of the things uh, when I got together with Mark from Everest is, is we've discussed things. How do we make this event bigger and better every single year? And we've tried to improve it, whether it's ice or jackets or hospitality or what, whatever have you. And I think we've done that. And uh, just last week we were talking how do we make the uh, Curling Club Championship and this one better. And even though we're at a great event here, a great venue, you know, Mark just uh, graciously says, well, why don't we fly him down to Vegas to watch World Men's Championship in the first weekend in April? And, I mean, of course, I'm all over that. I think it's great, and the curlers have loved it. They're very appreciative of it. And I know whoever wins this is going to have a great time. It's, it's probably going to be a lot more than just the trip that they're winning because it's going to be an experience that will put, put on for them. So it's, it's going to be a great four days when they're there, and it's going to be fun for me also. And then another great idea, if you're at home, check out TSN on TV. We're on tsn.ca, but on television, TSN Ticker will provide you score updates here from Sault Ste. Marie, the Everest Canadian Senior Men's and Women's Championships. So they've got the uh, quite often the games that are going to be played in the next draw, the results of the previous draw, and the odd time you're going to catch a live ticker there. That's just an excellent touch. Players get to see their name on national television. Yeah, we we actually signed the deal for that uh, just a couple days before this event, and I know the players last week and this week are ecstatic over it. You know, it gives credibility to the event, and all these all these great curlers, they, they love seeing their name on the ticker, even when they lose. It's kind of crazy, but uh, they're excited about seeing their name in their province on that it's it's uh, something really very 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 special back to the action here they did measure to see what uh, if that back one was on it was not even close 
So center guard here for George White. Bill Peloza is going to play his out turn draw around here. Like to sink this in with a full eight foot. This is a spot where if you paper the guard, you're definitely going to come out the other side. Where is it? There it is. Yep, yep. Line's great. Line's great. Just top eight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bill's a good man. He's a Dallas Cowboy fan. I've got to support him on that. <laughs> Favorite curler, Al Hacker, Rick Lang, and Frank Morissette, the Alberta assassin. Oh my God, he threw Frank in there. Threw Frankie there in go. there. Frank must have patted his wall a little bit for him to say that one. Wow, wait, wait till you hear our, <laughs> speaking of which, George White's favorite curler, Randy, is it for Bay? Is that how you pronounce yeah, that? What, it's, what did you pay for that, bro? I paid nothing. Like you, know, you were sick and tired of being humiliated I'm, every draw that I've always liked you. this guy, you know, there was something about from day one when I met him years and years ago. I knew there was something special about this guy. Yeah, he's special, all right. <laughs> He is a very yeah. funny guy, George. <laughs> but good for you, Ferb. It's good to see. Yeah. One, finally. Yeah, you got <laughs> one under the belt. That one over curled, but uh, I mean, the weight was Still perfect. Good. Just shows you how much swing we have. Great job by the ice makers here. Community first curling center in the suit, home of Team Jacobs. Out turn freeze now for Bill. He just threw it there, so. Really good line. Pretty makeable shot for him. Three for T. Should Three be for close T. on this one. Looks good. Oh, 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 oh. What a best overswept it, eh, Randy? That one went a little straighter. It didn't finish like the other one. The weight was fine. Yeah, perfect well, throw for been. weights. Might be buried enough that uh, there's no double. So Wade, I mean, Wade's calling a very aggressive game here. I like it. He's he's thinking of maybe just a draw top here. Yeah. I think he can get to the nose on it with uh, back rain and maybe remove one of the rocks at least. And he's, this, then it's still be in great situation for him. He's thinking board weight, hack weight now. Mentioning tonight, Randy, uh, Ontario is 5 and 0. We might as well update the standings here. Do it after this shot here from Dan. Yeah. Whoa. Go. Very close. It looks like half. Yeah, yeah, very. Yeah, very, very. Whoa. Whoa. Dark. Really nice throw here. Love the weight. Perfect. No, that, that's, a, that's a pretty good shot. Yeah, even though maybe a double can be made, there's a jam situation yeah. here. So a very nice shot there from Dan. So Ben, eight and a half. So yeah, the standings. This is a Pool B action. Ontario's five and zero. Oh, Alberta's four and zero. Oh. They're going to play tonight, and that game is going to be for first place in the group. Northern Ontario, three and two, keeping their playoff hopes alive. And then PI and BC are both two and three. Pool A men's, Quebec, Saskatchewan, and New Brunswick are probably all in. Well, they are with four wins and one loss. Manitoba still alive at two and two, and Newfoundland and Labrador is two and three. We'll get to the ladies after this. Playing the double, Randy, looking a little bit full. A little full on this one. Chance now for Alberta. They can hit and roll underneath if they want. Definitely enough room. You can see it there. What kind of weight you like here for this shot? Probably the same weight that he threw in his first one, maybe even a little less. You know, this... this uh, the shot is made, made by the actual thrower, and I know that sounds strange, but he should know what weight he has to throw, how the release and everything. The skip shouldn't even have to tell him what uh, what to do here. Just just throw it like you threw it. Your last shot. Looks like he has a similar weight, maybe a hair more. It's got a curl. I think he's close. Oh uh, yeah, it's a yeah, nice line call. Very very nice shot. Dan, uh, Dan's making a lot of these shots. Obviously, he watched uh, us curl quite a bit and oh, sort of just picking it up right, right from there. Yeah. 
Unbelievable. He's smiling because he knows he knows you're taking He's credit like, oh, for what he just did. <laughs> Yeah, again, I've had breakfast with these guys at the uh, hotel a couple of times. They're very funny. It's the first time I've met them. I can understand why you'd want to have a guy like Dan around. Yeah, they're pretty good guys. You know, they're, they're, they're all very social. They love being around people. and They have a lot of fun, and, and they win. You know, it's, it's a bonus all around, on and off the ice. They're great guys, you know. Yeah, I think in a regular year, if we were allowed to congregate, I'd, I'd like to sit down and maybe uh, have a few late-night chats with these guys, find out some stories about you, buddy. That <laughs> way I can blackmail you. Good chance now in this game. Those green ones are in a nice spot. A little yeah. center guard here from Barry. He's probably one that's about halfway, and they're signaling halfway. Barry's uh, put down Let's something play. you're going to want to talk I'm about. His favorite food is cabbage oh. rolls. Oh, how can you go wrong? Seriously, how can you go wrong with cabbage rolls? Well, you could go wrong if you ate them before this broadcast, because yeah. I don't think I'd love that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that would be a loss for yeah. me. Just came a little too deep <laughs> on that one. She is about six feet too heavy. Just up, no. There is a triple there. All of these hey, greens could go. Big shot here for Scott Henderson, third stone, Northern Ontario. Second end of a scoreless game. Yeah. Big yeah. scrub right out of the hands here. A little tight. Got them all. Still going managed now. to make it, yeah. Couple big shots early in this game now by Scott. Some nice cleanup after the mistake by Barry sliding into the rings. Thanks. Might see Alberta throw this one into the paint. Oh, yeah, this right late in, in the yeah. end. Gonna submit and allow Northern Ontario to blank if they choose to. These guys stuck to their Alberta roots. Barry's favorite curler, Kevin Park. Dan. He gave the nod to your skip, Dave Netta, when your fourth Seriously? draw thrower he did. Sorry, wow. buddy. You weren't even, he said after that it would have been Marcel. <laughs> and then Scott. And then Scott, hey. and then he really likes Walchuk and Carter. Yeah. Uh, you did finish somewhere around ninth. Uh, if we're just talking it. from curlers from Edmonton. Right. <laughs> this shot a lot simpler for Scotty. He just ran a triple, now he's got a wide open hit. You run a triple, oh. and then an Just open gas. I'm familiar with the second yeah. shot, but uh, I'm not sure how that happens. Well, I'll tell you how it happens. It's it's the ice is so, it, if you're just a little tight, it moves probably two or three times more than it does if you, if you throw it straight. Like, it doesn't take much to be inside, but if you just start it a little bit, it goes way more than usual. So basically so you're saying if you're inside of the rock you're aiming at by about a rock, you could miss it. Yeah. It's something like that, yeah. yes. Yeah, that's a loose interpretation of what you had to say. Now a good chance for Wade to throw a capper on this one. Yeah, he probably wants this one a little tight, so there's still room for Northern Ontario to freeze one on top of that if he's got a longer guard, so doesn't want it too long. Yes, short. Gotta go. Somewhere right about there, maybe a, a rock too far, Randy. Well, the thing is, is he gonna roll in if he doesn't make the run back? No, he's he's left with the draw here. This is a it's aggressive. This is a very aggressive call. It's uh, I don't think I would actually do this. No, I'd be playing the hit myself yeah. as well. Sure, because even if you don't make the double, you roll in, and it's going to be a wide open draw for uh, uh, to get your single. But here, you miss this shot, and you could be in in a little bit of trouble. And even if you do make your shot, you're you're getting. I'm not sure how you get your deuce with with a good freezer. 
Yeah, it'd be easy oh. if he makes his perfect for Alberta just to uh, cap the line, and, and it's a force. You play the double, you have an op double, you have an opportunity to keep your hammer. Mike's big curling moment won the 2003 men's tankard at his home club, the Port Arthur Curling Club in Thunder Bay. A lot of the guys paddled both clubs up there, two of the best clubs in Canada. We referenced them quite a bit last week. This one's a little out there, but it will, it will finish. It's just a matter of if it's going to get right to the face of that green one or not. I don't yeah, if think it's going to quite get there. It's just going to bounce for weight, too. Just dead weight, but now a good chance. I think Wade, he could play the little hit and flop here. Sit yeah. one on the button, one behind it. Now look at the broom here. I like this, Randy. He's, some people would whip down like a normal weight of control. He's going to play some nice no, soft he just, weight here like Dan did. Yeah, he's just going to play hack weight on this or a little bit more. And and uh, this is, I, I would expect him to be very close on this. Very close on this. Like, like he rolls in. Three inches, four inches is going to be very difficult for Ontario, yeah, Northern Ontario to score. That. Yeah, then they might have to run the, the triple well, actually might be their roll. best option yeah. to clean up uh, the mess if Wade can execute here with his final shot in the second end. I think they like it. You gotta go. oh, starting you gotta to go curl. Hard. In the brush hard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gonna over curl. Ah, stays in a pretty just good spot. A little, just a little, popped a bad open, luck, but, but it's still pretty good though. Still pretty good. Forces uh, Northern Ontario to make a, a, a pretty good shot. I mean, he's got to draw the back of the button without any backing, pretty much here. So he did just throw it. I think if he comes to this back one here, he will be shot rock. Absolutely. 100%. So that makes the shot a little bit easier. He could also just chip off the rock that's on the Everest button. Nevertheless, a very important shot in the second end here. Skip rock. Mike Desolet looking to draw the button against two. Sweepers are on that pretty quick. Yeah, it's got to go for line for sure. It's going to be okay. Now. No, no, they're just cleaning. I think he's pretty good. Might have overswept it a little bit. They did. Yeah, little overbrush yeah. there. It's going to be a steal of one for Alberta. When we come back for the third end, they will be leading. Northern Ontario one to nothing. Northern Ontario with the hammer. Games beside us, we have the Quebec men leading New Brunswick one to nothing. The Quebec women leading Manitoba one nothing. They're in the second end. Newfoundland and Labrador ladies trailing Nova Scotia by a single point playing the second. We'll update you on the ladies' standings. Pool A, Manitoba, 4-0. Oh. Quebec is 4-1, so they'll both move on. PI, 3-2. Saskatchewan, that's Sherry Anderson. She's 3-2. BC's Marianne Arsenal, 3-2. So only two of those 3-2 teams can possibly advance. So a bit of a log jam there. And then Pool B in the ladies. Ontario, we had them on earlier. They're 5-0. Nova Scotia four and one, Alberta Cheryl Bernard at two and two, and uh, also alive Newfoundland and Labrador at two and three, the Yukon at two and three, but they're going to need some help. Uh, uh, overturning a bit again. Another aggressive call by Alberta. They're up. They're up one without Last Rock, and they're uh, throwing up a center guard. And but Ontario's counter counter. Doing this with a, a corner guard now, so it should be an interesting end here. Yeah, they're going to go with the corner. I think Wade will draw around that center, and that'll be interesting. Uh, as you know, I do a lot of Kevin Cooey's games, and they're not the only team that does it, but they're the team I see the most. Quite often, Randy, the 
corner will go up that Kevin will throw. The other team will draw around the center, and uh, Kevin will ignore it and draw around his own corner with uh, Ben. Yeah, well, that's because he got such an ability to make the run backs and stuff like that. It's at, at this level here, there might not be quite as many run back doubles made. And, yeah. But uh, they're, they're they're so capable of getting out of trouble. It's uh, kind of scary, actually. Do you think part of it is also Ben really only has right one now, turn, right so if right they now. find a shot he can make, well, they're going to play it yeah. over and over and Absolutely. over again. Absolutely, that's it. Yeah, just give him a simpler Very shot. And ben probably yeah. the Mary. least versatile <laughs> curler of all time. Yeah, <laughs> men's, ladies, doesn't matter. Hurry! Whoa. Love you though, Benny, because I know you're probably listening. It's good, it's good. Nice draw there. George got a good control of his draw weight. I don't have great control of my voice right now. This, uh, it, it, it's a little bit, even though it's top 12, you can get around the zone and win pretty easily with a good throw. Sorry, I just had someone come and ask me for an autograph. That was uncomfortable, but you thought it was Ryan Gosling. I actually thought it was me. <laughs> <laughs> Guy wasn't that I wrecked time. on the guard there, so. Again, every end so far, Alberta's been putting pressure on uh, Northern Ontario. Every end, there's a lot of green rocks in play. Yeah, they almost remind me of uh, when you play poker. You know, you're trying to limp into a pot, and these guys are like, no, 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 race. Yeah race and they just try to apply more pressure more pressure put you in tough situations big Barry. scott's had a couple of big bailout shots for Barry. northern ontario early here yeah well look at that finish with uh, he was up waiting and still finished pretty good there yeah that's a nice spot lots of curl in the ice there Dale's gonna play a little hit and roll. He could even nose this, it'd be okay. Out turn hits, trying to make it carve over. They need to stick around, that would be so the plan. It doesn't look like this one is going to. Now she gone. Now I think we'll see Alberta again. They're going to draw around this center guard. Continue to apply pressure here with Dan. Dan likes it says uh, yeah, Parishki with cream and dill. What's Parishki? It's good Ukrainian dish. The the dill and the cream just enhance it. It's uh, uh, you know I'm not hundred percent sure. Some kind of dough and cheese inside there or something it's phenomenal actually sounds pretty good I, I don't think he makes it i doubt it very much if he'd be sounds like he eats it though yeah, it's, it's looking like a do <laughs> looking like it's uh, body shaving here at the canadian seniors randy knows the guy really oh, yeah, well i do i know him well enough that i call him don came up a hair light there and now an aggressive call uh Northern Ontario gonna switch yeah. gears. I, I like it. I think it's a pretty good call. You know, it's definitely accessible, drawn around that. There's no issues whatsoever. Uh, there's not much danger, really, unless it comes a little heavy, but uh, they gotta start making a few more shots here, put some pressure on Alberta, because even when Alberta misses, they're not in uh, a whole bunch of trouble. I'm trying to keep it straight. Get by this guard. It's going to be dicey, I think, Randy. He's tight to that guard, is right. Gonna Not going to make it. Be a hair light, as you can see as well. A yellow ends up in a decent spot, though. It's usable. Sets up a double on the two greens. What would you do here now if you're waiting? Uh, this would be an interesting call. I know it's uh, that yellow rock I don't really like there, but... Uh, you, know, you like you giving him the run back? I mean, he, Wade could play the tap on the outside green one, and, you know, not much can go wrong there, but... Uh, Unlock that double, have his shooter I mean, stay right here. It, even though that yellow rock is in a, in a good position, it, it's hard to get line when the ice is moving so much, you know, because they're going to have to hit her almost on the nose. I think it's, it's hard to get a good yeah, line on that. Yeah, we'll so. just drive this behind here. Yeah. yeah. 
It's a tricky little spot. They play that little tap you're talking about. Yeah, he's worried that they're going to bump their green rock right here. That was supposed to be green. Bump it here, and then that would leave that right. run back. So he doesn't love that, but uh, he's going to go with your instinct here. I'm not sure if he's, is he just is yeah, he trying to tap the I think he's just trying to it. jimmy these rocks, like he said. Oh, yeah, almost through. Oh, oh, Tons oh, of weight. It's probably not a bad way if he makes contact, though. Well, well, it's over curl. Well, it's over curl. Wow, that's Cut. pretty good that's if that pretty stops. Good. Yeah. yeah. Exposed a little bit, but he can't get the hit and roll off of that, so I came down a little bit and they could tap now. They could play the intern freeze as well. I don't mind the freeze first. You've got that tap on your next yeah. one if you need it. Yeah, he missed the tap uh, at this stage here. You're gonna be a little trouble here, but uh, it'll always be there for his next shot also, but that's why I like the intern draw here, yeah, Randy. Like I, I think too. you can control both sides of the rings. Yeah, yeah he, he, this is very makeable. You just watch a few rocks come down this way, so this is very makeable. Scotty's made a couple big hits. Let's see what he can do with his draw weight here. He also played in a couple of Canadian Junior Men's Championships out of Northern Ontario. Looks like this one's out there. Yeah, I think he's uh, Yeah, this heavy. thing's gonna get there, I don't think. If it's not breaking in this spot, well, you have to be heavy because this curls. It might just kick it behind, and make it worse. The old touch and go. He's made it a little worse. He, yeah, he had way too much weight on that. He had Hack Wade almost on that. Now Wade's, uh, see, here we go again. He's gonna leave that out turn tap on the yellow one for Northern Ontario. This this is a tough shot. I mean, you make it, it's gonna be great, but it's uh Freezing ours. So Barry's playing the wide end turn. I like it. He, he can get this right into the forefoot. Obviously, you're gonna leave that yellow one, but. Yeah, and if you stop short, that's fine too. You, know. you ever see that episode of Seinfeld, Seinfeld when they're stopping short? It was George Costanza's yeah. dad's move. That's how he used to try to pick up ladies. You gotta go on this one. It's gonna oh, fell right just the top. Uh, oh, it's gonna open it up a little bit for him. Well, needs that to spin in a yeah. little. Wade's Which a little disappointed. Did. He uh, underswept that. He, he he had he had a very good line on that one, but just underswept it. And now it this is well, that guy's a mess. <laughs> I was gonna say this is a mess, but uh, she wouldn't be too happy with me. Yeah, right here is a mess, yeah, and if they can hit and roll off of this rock in the rings. There's nothing lined up for run backs or no. anything there, so, th th but this is a must make right now. It's a big enough hole, but it's still not a very easy shot. I think he's got to throw sort of similar weight or less than what he just threw, Randy. Yeah. I mean, you throw you throw up weight, you're not going to get the roll, right? No. You might get through the hole, but you won't get the roll, so he's got to throw back ring or just through the house. Yelling out back four. I think they like it. Uh-oh. So this going to tick. That is exactly what happened to uh, Barry shot. They just uh, underswept it. Didn't, didn't anticipate there. I mean, Alberta's lane three still, I believe. So the outturn guard. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah. Yeah, you heard they want to guard this yellow right uh -huh. here. Play it like this. And they're afraid that if they played the intern, and I agree with them, Randy, it's yeah. really hard to keep it on that side of the sheet, so they're going to go to the intern. Draw. Yeah, most young teams are going to play the intern guard also, but this, this uh -huh. is kind of a veteran call. You know, so he knows what the ice is like here. Not many teams. You know, younger teams would play this turn, but this is absolutely the easier shot to, uh, to make with, make the guard with this turn. Well, 
much weight, like, still normal, I think. So an out turn guard. Alberta leading oh, Northern oh, oh, Ontario oh, here, one nothing oh, in the third oh, end. Oh, oh. Lots of room in this one. It looks tight to me, Randy, in terms of weight. Like, going to be fairly close to the rings. Oh, I think I'm just short of it. Well, I think it's going to end up all right. Short. Maybe a little deeper than they want, but that that that, uh, that does the job. Yeah, good throw. Well managed yeah. by the guys. They knew to stay off of that one. It stops in time. So he's got a choice. He can play the double tap on green, oh, yellow, or just the straight tap on the yellow one there. So this up to here yeah. is one, and then Randy's other shot, you just dead tap this. Yeah. Both of them. Just, and both, the, Pretty he, tough. he's ignoring both of them, actually. He's going to go wide around the center, uh, wide around the uh, yellow one. Wow. I mean, there's room to do it. It will finish, but look where this broom is. This is wider than they would have taken in the draw to the button for sure. So they're going to have to adjust the weight. Any other shot or time I've seen this shot played, they've come up way short. Yeah. Got to hold it out there. Let's see if the guys can figure that out. It's out there already. They, they want to keep it out there, but it uh, needs to curl heavy. a little. Yeah. Doesn't look too bad, though, I think. It's a little, warm, a little heavy. It's definitely going to be uh, not, sh not shot. I think it'll stop in time to be second, though, so well, it's, uh, it's all right. That, cu that cuts down Alberta, but now it gives Alberta a chance to put another, uh, uh, another one in there and uh, really put some pressure on uh, Northern Ontario. Yeah, Wade can draw right in here. He'd love to out count the rock that was just so thrown, he, he but keep it in front of the T line. What did you get? I get 13 7. I know. And then there'd probably be no choice but to play that top. A, hair, a little bit, two feet to your last one. Good communication here by the front end. They're not guessing here, they're giving them exactly what they want. Very confident team out of Alberta. They're looking looking pretty sharp, actually. Sure. Yeah. Oh. They lost that one too. Just didn't anticipate it properly. They had perfect weight. Perfect weight. Close down that hole. The draw for one is available. Is it worth taking on this raise, Randy, for it two? It'd be for two. Yep. You like that or what? I mean, if one well, was throwing, obviously you would not throw this yourself. No, no, no. It'd be a guaranteed steal. I mean, if Dave's throwing in, it's easy shot. If I'm throwing it, it's kind of... Well, well, it's, it's a steal. Uh, it's, it's a steal. steal. For sure. <laughs> no, <it's not>. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> Just call it as we see it. <laughs> I put the point up the board uh, before you let it go. You're trying to line it up. I think when you're playing a team like Alberta, you got a chance here for two. Mike's a shot maker. I'd probably be willing to take the risk here. Yeah. It's probably pretty close to a nose hit. Yeah, a little inside if yeah. uh, maybe a bit, but. Uh... Cross the face here. Control. Probably want to hit about 80% of the rock, 90% of the rock cross on the face with the in turn. Can't whip this one either because you really have to stick the shooter. No, it's the only no. reason you're playing the shot, yeah. right? Yeah, gotta go he is throwing control. Wait. Gotta go hard. I think they like it. It's going to be close. It's going to finish it here. Curl, it's very too much or else he got it. Just a little wow. bit bad luck. You see how hard that finished on the, at yeah. the end. That was a great throw by Mike, but unfortunately it's a steal of one for Alberta. They'll lead Northern Ontario two to nothing here. 
Love the attempt there, Randy, but that uh, really demonstrated how much swing there is in the ice out, uh, especially in that spot. Well, not too many shots were made on that piece of ice there. They, I think they threw, both teams threw collectively four or five down there, and they missed swept probably all of them, or they didn't yeah. anticipate all of them. But uh, I mean, we've been on this spot. sheet the entire week. Well, I have. I don't know what you've been doing all week, but... Uh, you're a fast learner. You picked up yeah, on the curl there pretty, pretty quick. quick. Eh? I'll give you that for an old fella. Okay, you can uh, really still read the ice <laughs> still. I mean, probably with some of the thickest glasses I've ever seen, but it still works. <laughs> so Alberta up to nothing. Yep. They've been throwing center guards. They're actually going to uh, throw this one into the rings it's probably a good call at this stage they're up two, and you know they've they've been in control this whole game they, have, they haven't been in a whole bunch of trouble other than last you know last shot uh northern ontario had a shot for two but northern ontario hasn't played well collectively uh yet and i expect them to put together an end or two here and put a little more pressure on alberta wait it definitely wait no way I need more with that eight. Talking about needing more with that eight, so they probably think this rock curls a little bit. Yeah, I talked to them before the game, and in the draw off, they thought that the eight rock was moving a little bit more, so Wade elected not to throw it and threw it down to the lead. But, but again, you know, Front ends are always going to blame it on the on the skip where the broom is, but he knows it's going to cut. You know, you could flick it out a little bit or whatever. But he, he should know himself where the ice is and what, what he has to do. They're able to just scrub that one over. It's not a very usable corner, so I think uh, if I was Thunder Bay, I'd draw around their own corner with their next. Yeah. Wade's calling his brother George to draw right into the forefoot here. Yep. Four foot. Go past it. Go yeah. past it. Button. Button. Hard down. Danny getting some leverage on that. Oh, I'll yeah. tell you that. He goes hard. Yeah, he yep. does. Yes, he does. He did not sign up for the sweeping clinic that you and I put on. I like to say I taught him how to sweep, but he would probably deny all that so they're gonna go with this corner guard we talked about drawing around their own first one's too high but they could place this yeah, one going. nicely yep. Yep, keep going. this in turn really curls as well yep. okay yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. nice shot there yeah. Likely to throw a short corner guard. Right here. Just about nipping. They don't want this one in. You definitely don't no. want this rock to be where Northern Ontario can make a play on it and roll anywhere on the rings, especially no. behind their corners. I think uh, one, or, yeah, exactly. I, I think one foot out, two feet out is pretty good. It still leaves you a, a run back if you have to use that later on in the end. And Looks better, no. Huh? Did he lose it? Right here. How's line? You can Got see this curl. is way out there Almost right curl. now, but it will finish. Whoa. Whoa. It's a little deep. Yeah, probably a little rock deeper. I think they can hit and roll on. Lenore's K. Okay. Burn. Not going to play the nose weight double. You could oh, actually eight. clip either one of the ones in the back. Would be an excellent shot. Dale Wirisma. Yep. Curling out of the Fort William in Thunder Bay. Beauty. Nice shot. Yeah, he rolled on, so. And that's the problem, right, Randy? With them rolling on, 
Wade now has to hit that yeah, he's where got no choice. this wasn't on the rings. He'd be able to cap a center guard on exactly. that rock on the button. Right? Exactly, yeah. Nose hit, you take away the corner. Yeah, you can also hey. roll to the center line to guard your rock that's on the button. That'll work no, too. Big, no. yeah, I like this shot. call. Yeah, uh, you know, again, he threw up those guards, and the worst thing that happens in, when, when I was skipping, he threw up a couple of nice guards, and you don't even get an opportunity to use them, so he's going to make sure they don't go to waste his end. Yeah, a lot of teams are trying to hit and roll. There is no roll. A hit and roll is such a hard yeah. shot. Uh, easy to make this draw. All you need is the right weight because it'll curl in there for fun. Early in the end, a good opportunity here for Northern Ontario to try to set up their deuce. Trailing 2 nothing versus undefeated Alberta. Good line. Where are we? D line. Brian. Brian. Whoa. Whoa. Coming down. Make a call. Yep. 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 Whoa. Yep. 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 Right back. Yep. Oh, whoa. 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 I don't think he's going to bury this one. Still accessible to tap it out. Here. Yeah, probably for sure. Half a rod, but wait, like, how about draw? I think. I would. I'd, I'd be trying to move this out of the house. I think. With the two-point lead. Yeah, you could throw like a back line oh. hack weight or hey Randy and get oh. to that. It'll definitely curl enough to get in there for sure. I don't mind the freeze. Just through. I think we need to hear more ice holes, don't we? He's calling just through tight. the rings here. Chance for Barry to kill this stone and lie three. You'd like to, when you kill it, roll towards the center line for sure. Prevent that backing behind the guard. Almost packed. Oops, a little, little bit of room on this one. Yeah. They feel the same. I think he got it back a little bit, but they got the big man carving it. Might be a lot of weight, actually. No, I don't. Yeah, I think he threw a little bit more than they wanted. They yeah, just want back a back ring. He was, he was a little wide, too. A little wide, a little heavy. Now a decision has to be made. Does he go back around that corner guard? Does he hit or does he freeze on that uh, green one? Could go that way. Yeah, if I'm hitting, I'm rolling behind the green one. I think if I, I like, I still like the draw here. I don't mind it. Yep. I mean, there's four rocks that come. Is there not? Yeah. Four left. I like the intern draw again. We're gonna play a quiet wait, hit and roll here. This will curl. Yeah, this is that curling spot here. They got to go on this one. If yelling that's actually it. helped, that's, they would have stuck around. Yeah, that's they're screaming the, pretty loud on that's that That's the exact spot he he flashed a couple ends ago down that spot. Yeah. So you're saying he's improved because that one he hit like half a rock. <laughs> so he's getting better. Okay. Yeah, you yeah, don't want to leave it there again for him. <laughs> he knows it. <laughs> Second attempt here for Barry. See if he can take some weight off his first one. He got charged for should speeding. Should be a little, yeah, it should be a little closer this time. Yeah, looking behind the sheet, they threw that, he threw that one a little bit better. Gotta go on this one. He darted this yeah. one. This looks like one of my interns. I don't, why I don't know why they're not sweeping this. Oh, he's gonna hit and roll off the corner guard. Yeah, I think they went early audible on that one. Not a little lucky off it. I mean, might want to uh, clean up some of the blood from when he broke his wrist down there. Maybe Randy, isn't that? <laughs> do you normally do that? You clean up oh, the yeah, blood for the other team? Or you just I leave mean, it there. I think that one caught a sweater or something. At <laughs> least to say that. Not Barry's best, but uh, he's made a ton this week. They're four and zero, oh, leading the pool. Got to hit that shot. Yeah. Already advanced to the championship round. Now trying to just pad the record, which will be carried on to the next round. Unlike last week in Ottawa, where we played a modified double in the playoff competition. 
winning teams, Nova Scotia and the men's Northern Ontario who play on the same club here as this men's Northern Ontario team, the Fort William in Thunder Bay. Chance now, Randy, to hit and lie too. Like we said earlier, he just threw it in this spot, so. This will definitely curl enough for him here. Good shot. They like to, if you're waiting, he's going to try to roll towards that. Uh, you can't afford to gamble too hard on the roll here, Randy, because no. if you roll out, they can whip around a, another draw and all of a sudden they're potential three. Well, I mean, this back one here is now open, so I'm sure that uh, Alberta would elect to just knock this uh, yellow one out uh, that's uh, back eight foot here and basically concede two if that came down. To so would you take a run, uh, sort of a control weight? Uh, this, if you this, hit it thin, well, you make the double. This, it's not this make is the a roll. tough double. I mean, it's oh, pretty thin and, and it curls. I mean, they should be sweeping out right now if they were going for it, but they're not. I don't believe. No, I believe they're always playing the roll. Yeah. Needed to spin. That was a great attempt. He's back, but I don't think he shot. That was a very good attempt. Now I'm gonna go with yellow being shot. But what a wicked attempt that was by Wade. Just barely missed the line call, which was very difficult. Northern Ontario has to find a way to put a second one in without setting up a double. Okay, it's gotta be second in there. Green Rock in the top 12 sort of in their way here. This would be an easy shot to to get the separation they're looking for. Okay. Yeah, he's just got to put it in a position that he doesn't give him a, a double across the house, so it's got to be at the T-line, at least at the T-line, and, and, par and partially buried or fully buried. So this is the best chance all game with the hammer here for Northern Ontario. Opportunity to draw in with skip rocks and lie two. Clean it. Sweepers are just cleaning it, so I'm assuming it's going to be pretty good. It's a pretty good shot now. It uh, leaves uh, Wade the outturn freeze if he elects to take it on here, so it's. Uh, I, mean, I don't know what else he can do. He can play, he can play the run back on his own green straight back to the one back eight foot, but he's up two and he's pretty confident on uh, by just put the room down and says I can make this and sort of take on Northern Ontario out of the end again. Yeah, that spot uh, shot ended up in a decent spot for Northern Ontario. He didn't have a lot of options on where to put it. It slid a rock or two too far and now an opportunity if Wade can lock this on can force Northern Ontario to make a tough draw for one. Oh. Likes it out of his hand. This, so, this one looks a little tight actually by the time he gets down here. It's gonna go sideways there. Pass the guard. Gonna keep the angle, very nice shot. That rock's going hard. Yeah, I know. But is there any chance here, Randy, with some soft weight to uh, score to three? To pick it out and go, uh, I, I think, it, I think it might be there, but uh, I mean, it's a very difficult oh, shot, but. You know, sweepers are talking about that rock moving a little bit at the end, but all, all the rocks have finished hard. Yeah, I don't know I, if that one did anything different than any of the others. Yeah, I know last time they underswept that one too. You know, they were on the guard. They watched the watch and just ticked the guard. So maybe there is something. If if you feel like there's something wrong with the rock, you should make a change on it. You should get rid of it. So he can elect to play a difficult shot here for three, or he can he can run it back for two. 
you know, hit that green one right on the nose and uh, he could just come elect down it. and chip this. Right. And even if he loses a shooter, he's guaranteed his two. There is probably room to get it over the top of sure, this one, but sure. your weight and line would have to be perfect. Or he, or he could even elect to play the out turn, uh, ta uh, out turn double. He could come off the uh, the green one on the side there for for three if he elected to take it on. It's sort of whatever you're comfortable with. They're not. I mean, there's about four different shots here. I'd be playing the out turn tap for sure. Well, yeah, you know, he doesn't want to give up a steal here. And, and I mean, the run back isn't an overly difficult shot. I mean, the one off the right hand side or the left hand side double for three is a, you know, it's a bonus. I think I think the one guy's looking at it now kind of. Yeah. If he likes to, yeah. Talking about this yeah. on the here. That was pretty good. Pretty good drawing there. Did you, did you see that shot before I even mentioned it or? Well, I knew Just it was there. If you know now, I knew two days ago, bro. Let's get that straight. <laughs> See, they're looking at that now. They're, now they're just confirming that they got second shot or third shot. So you think like back line weight? Is that enough? What? There, I mean, you could throw a peel and just rip this one well, out, but... Uh, that's another option, absolutely. I mean, quite now, quite frankly, he'd be happy with it too. And maybe that's the easier way to do it. it uh, kind of a risk-reward here. This outturn peel would be relatively easy. I hear back line weight being whispered around. Maybe that would be the minimum they'd need because they're only going to be hitting yeah. about a third of a stone. Could probably hit as much as, I don't think you want to get much more than half. Half might be too No, much. this is going to be going sideways when it's coming in here too, so. Yeah, absolutely. So final shot of the third, the fourth end. Game's going by pretty quick. Mike Desolet throwing skip rocks for Northern Ontario. Potential chance for three, but he's really going to have to earn it. Wait, good. Well, so far, it looks pretty good. I think they're going to have to sweep it depending on the weight. Three's close. They will finish. They gotta go on this. Oh, gonna jam. Yeah, really, really nice just attempt, but I think it's just a single. Yeah. So at the end of four, it's Alberta two, Northern Ontario one. Alberta will have the hammer when we come back after this commercial break. Is that it for you, my friend? I think it is. I got to do some other duties here. Yeah, you're and a busy uh, man at these events. Thank you for your time, as always, Randy. And I'll continue to talk behind your back after you leave. <laughs> I would expect nothing less. Okay, Thank great. You. See you later. Thanks. <laughs> the shy, quiet kid who loved math. But when I saw math come alive in the geometry of the game, I found my passion and my voice. It's a game of precision, a game of inches. It's the equation that now defines who I am.
One might say I was born to overcome challenges. Two months premature, in and out of the hospital, and a heart condition. My parents call me their miracle baby. As with all survivors, I searched for my place in this world, and I found it here. This pebbled ice is where I battle now, and at only 12, I am already a five-year veteran of this sport. I have my sights set on the Olympics. I will push hard to get there. The only size that matters in this sport is the size of your dreams. Should really be curling. This ice is everything. It's where I come to feel close to her, to feel whole. This building helped raise me when my mother no longer could. When I step on the ice, she steps with me. My dad is my rock. We are a team now, like the four of us when we step on the ice. People say that this isn't a contact sport, but that's not true. It contacts you where you need it the most. Welcome back to the Everest Canadian Senior Curling Championships. We are live from the First Community Curling Center, Community First Curling Center in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario for men's and ladies action. Very close game here, Alberta. 4-0 in the class of the field right now with Ontario. Leading Northern Ontario 2-1. Northern Ontario has a 3-2 record would love a win. A win here would push them through to the championship round. A loss and they would still have a chance, but it would come down to a tiebreaker format of head-to-head -head or the shootout to the button. So it's much simpler math for them just to win this game and they will move forward. Alberta's already going to move on. Their final game tonight is against Ontario. Ontario's 5-0. If you're just joining us, the Alberta guys won the 2017 Canadian Seniors and the 2018 World Seniors. This would be their fifth time. Fifth time anyway for Wade in this event. The rest of the guys is probably their fourth. Very experienced team out of Northern Ontario, the Fort William Curling Club as well. Just talked to Mike, the skip, and the break. He said they're just having trouble in that one spot that we've been talking about for the entire week. It's hard to give enough ice and believe it. You're afraid you could throw it through the break, but nobody's really done that so far. Really nice weight there from George White, lead on Alberta. Mentioned I got to know these guys a little bit this week. You run into them at the hotel. Down in the lobby or at breakfast. Really good guys, despite the fact that they hang out with Randy a bit. Uh -oh. 
Bill Peloza throwing the out turn freeze and a pretty good one. <clears throat> nice scrub guy by the guys, get it down there within a foot. Like the tap of the hair, eh? Just George looking just across the face here with this one. Could even afford to tap it if the line is good. Watch the room. Well, needs to move. Go around it. Get, get. Hard. 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 Hair heavy. They tried to do the audible, get that one by, unable to do so. Might be a double available here. Got to squeak the yellow, throw a pretty big weight. You could also just play it softer and make the roll. Judging where the broom is, Dale's going to whip this one down here. Out turn double attempt. Dale again, he played the 1998 Briar. That one was in Winnipeg, where Wayne Madaw dominated the field. I think he had a 10 and one record. Most games he didn't play the ninth or 10th end. They ended up beating up on Guy Hemmings pretty bad in the final, went on to win the world championship that year. And it's good to know that Mr. Wayne Madaw is on his way here to cheer on his wife, Sherry. She skips the Ontario entry. So I think Wayne's gonna roll into town tomorrow and cheer on the girls. They've already got enough wins under their belt at five and oh, that they're gonna be moving on for sure to the championship round, a very good position. Yeah. Dan throwing the intern heater down here, looking to move around a bunch of these yellows. Just a slight over curl. Pretty good throw, I tell you, it just moves there. Even though he had pretty solid weight. So all these rocks are staggered, no really clear run backs to be made. So Dale's gonna draw around the works here with his out turn. Taking tons of ice. Over five feet. Go. Okay. <coughs> what do we got? Good line. Me, me, me. It's got a curl, boys. Lots of line. Yep, 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 oh, yep, yep. Finish it. Nice looking draw yes, here. Yes, yes. Oh, boy. Nice shot. Beauty right on the button. It's buried but accessible, but I think it's uh, early enough in the end yeah, you have time to bail here. Not that yellow. Run the guard in. Yeah, they're going to run in the green guard just short into the two yellows here. I really like this call early in the end, open things up. Danny yeah. can whip the weight yeah. down there oh, solid. Yeah! Hurry! Oh. <laughs> That'll clean things up. All the guards are gone. Leaves Northern Ontario lying first and third, Sorry. but uh, it's a pretty good shot. These guys throw it hard enough. They can make a double yeah, or two. Maybe clean things up here. Yeah, I know. Try to get a blank. Northern Ontario not really in a position to steal here, but they'd be happy with a force. They're going to play the out turn hit here with third stone Scott Henderson. Not sure I've ever seen a stabilizer like the one Scott is using. It's an unfortunate miss there now because there is a hit and roll over here or a double. Again, 
Lots of time left to get out of this and uh, potentially get a blank. If I'm Alberta, I'd love a blank here. Be up 2-1 playing the six with the hammer. It'd be a nice spot. Barry Schwetter. In turn hit. Really nice shot. Like a beautiful shot. Well called in the house there by Wade as well. This is a tough guard to put on now. Problem being, if you throw the center and you perfectly guard your yellow, there's gonna be a very short green onto yellow situation. And if you guard the green one, they'll be able to play the back one here. So, he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to give us the blank. this is dangerous. I understand he doesn't want to give the blank, but you know what else you don't want to do is drop three. Yeah, so you can see that's a uh, pretty much what they wanted, but the back one now is available. The yellow back and uh, the way it curls in there, this is a pretty much a piece of cake to kill the rock. More difficult to stay, but if he can, he's going to go down and check it out. I don't mind like just a half weight. Well, whatever makes it, I guess, but. Well, yeah, but you can throw just yeah. that line, can you? We don't have to get it out. I don't really like the tap. Hey. I don't like the tap, but. Hey, what kind of weight you want to pick it out of there? Fucking just normal. Normal? Okay. I think. Watch, because it'll move a bit here, no? It's going to throw normal weight, I believe, I heard them say. Close to the line. I'm surprised. I thought they might throw a little bit less weight at this. At least. It's personal, personal preference, though. Whatever they've been doing all week's working. Well. Classic tuck slide there from Barry. Clip the green on the way by, therefore redirected, but did kill the yellow. Control weight hit here is the call. Looking to hit and roll buried behind the center guard. Because it's deeper, right? I checked it, eh? You see how lucky there. Okay, try to get to control real flop. You got it, you got it. You got it. In turn, hit and roll attempt behind the center guard here for Skip, Mike Desilet. They're not gonna get the roll, that's for sure. They might not even stick around. Now he's gonna want that seven and eight rock. <laughs> huh? Wade with two to come, to come here, you could peel the guard. Peel the guard, keep the hammer going to six. I think you'd see that a lot in men's and ladies play at the Scotties, the Briar, and the Slams. They really like to have the hammer. They play eight ends in those comfortable while in the Slams they do. So the sixth end, it's sort of key to have that hammer if you can. You were back 12 last end, right? 
I know, are these rocks faster? Well, no, it's, but it's close to 15 there, I think. Don't you think? Close to 15 there. I mean, full, normal keen. Where do you want to be? Right yeah. So you're going to play the out turn draw here. You heard him talk about the weight. Wade throwing new rocks here. Hold it out there. Pull it out there. Pull it out there. Pull it out there. Right Wait over there a little bit. Top four, no way. Not bad. Weight was really nice. Yeah. Can't really see the line there in the way. It's an over curl, which is not surprising in that spot. That should be good for hot. Intern Chase here. Heard Mike say he wants to throw hack weight. This will curl in enough. You can cross the face and bury this one. It certainly doesn't look like it because it's probably a third buried. It's a gutsy play. Alberta would be happy even if Mike, uh, if he got this one out and stayed in the open, they'd have an open hit for the blank. Final shot here from Mike in five. Yes. Straight. Straight. Yes. Curl. Straight. Straight. All the way. All the way in. All the yeah, way that in. was never going to go underneath, and they knew that. Really nice shot there by Mike. Yeah, a bit more. I think I exaggerated how much that one was going to go in there. That was a really nice throw. Never a chance to get underneath. It'll curl, no. A little bit, yeah. Now Wade has an opportunity to blank the end and keep the hammer in the control end, the sixth end. One up width would be a beautiful spot. Final shot here, intern peel attempt. And a good throw, so this end is blanked. We'll be back for the sixth. Alberta leading Northern Ontario, two to one. <laughs> Got some other scores going on out on the ice. The Newfoundland and Labrador men tied at four with Manitoba. Just didn't get his first one out there, huh? Yeah. Nova Scotia ladies playing the Newfoundland and Labrador ladies. They're also tied at four. Quebec women out to a 5-1 lead over Manitoba. Manitoba undefeated up to this stage. It's a big game for Quebec. I believe they're 4-1. So they would move to 5-1 and, and win that group. Not that it matters whether you win your pools, really, because you have to play everybody in the next round anyway. New Brunswick. Men leading 3-2 over Quebec. Quebec with the hammer and six. Those are two very good teams. Odishaw versus Roberge. Well, it looks like we're going to throw more guards up. <laughs> Just tight here, boys. I think Northern Ontario has to go with double center guards here. Trailing by one without the hammer here in six. Try to see what you can do to put Ma max pressure on Wade. We haven't faced a lot of adversity yet in this uh, in this game. Playing the out turn draw. The indication I believe was it could chip that center. So they could do the straight come around here. Even if they wick off the yellow one, chip Brown. into the rings. Brown. Acts as a tick shot. You'd be able to hit the yellow on your Go. next one. Brown. Brown. This one's going to be the straight draw, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not too deep. George is at really good weight all game. Whoa, whoa, not too deep. 
Shot. And another just perfect draw in there. Like this call by Mike. He's going for the high center here. Get some separation, get it right on the center line. You'd like it to be at the top of the peak of the Everest logo, I believe. Place guard there by Bell. Well managed by the team as well. No, just freeze on us. No? Sure. Out turn draw here. George would love to throw the same shot he just threw. It would be pretty much perfect, but they're on this one early. Great scrub by the boys here to drag oh, this past that yellow. Sweep. Excellent sweeping, really nice weight, nice team shot there. So good start to the end for both teams, but uh, Northern Ontario knows they have to gamble this end. They threw up two perfect centers, but look at those come arounds there by George. Good sweep, boys. Dale's going to play the wide in turn draw. We're back Back on at 8 p.m. tonight. Yeah, Yeah. it's back there. Okay. And then there'll be a little bit of a schedule change tomorrow. I'm going to bring up the draw here somehow. Life's not that easy when you're technologically challenged like I am. I shot. Hey, that's good. It's a good shot. Slides in for second, but it's guarded behind everything. Pretty simple peel here now for Dan. Dan used to be Team Netowin's fifth player. I guess they were called the Furby Four. Winners of the 2001, 2002, 2003, and 2005 Briar. I can say all these nice things about Randy now that he's not here to hear them. Uh oh. That's not what he wanted. He were hoping just for the straight peel. Does open up the back, but uh, they would have loved to lose the shooter there for sure. Gotta get out here. Goes pretty good. There. So tonight, yeah, we're on at 8 o'clock. Big game. Alberta, who's right in front of us, playing Cochrane on sheet A. As of right now, both teams are undefeated. This one just got a stop for them and it's trying. That's a really nice spot there. Good draw by Dale. He had a lot of room. Our game tonight, big one for both teams. Saskatchewan Sherry Anderson, three time champion in the seniors. No. I believe she's three and two, taking on Manitoba, who's currently undefeated, but they're trailing Quebec by two without the hammer in their game. Manitoba's already wrapped up a spot to move forward, I would think, with their four wins, but uh, wins are necessary at this stage of the week. Big shot here for Dan. Got to throw just... Heavy draw tap here. Make a play on this rock on the tee. 
Guard! Hard! Big scrub Hard. sideways here for George, Hard. trying to carve it. Just chip this shot. Rock does not chip enough of it, I don't think. Spins back in. It's going to continue to lie one. At least it looks like it from here. Out turn draw, third stone, Scott Henderson. This one's flying, I think. Front end tried to let them know. They had to sweep it a bit for line, but uh, unfortunate miss there for Scott. Might let Alberta off the hook. They can just draw into this spot right here. There'll be no way really to remove the stone. Intern freeze tap, right? Or freeze? Boys are trying to figure out who okay. shot rock is Another right 14, now. One on his. I think I went with yellow. My gut reaction was yellow, so it's probably green. We need full four. Brown! It's like team by itself. Close, though. They're coming down. Brown. Close. Close, Dan. Don't lose it. Still there. Back button. Right here. Right there. Back four. No, 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 George. No. Just begging for this one to stop in front of the tee. Slides about a rock too far. Really good shot, but there's still a chance now for Scott to get one in there. He right needs there. to make the adjustment. He just threw his uh, last one in the back eight. You can see the rock there. So it's over buried, but believe me, the guard is not in play. Looks like he's sliding out with a Tonka toy. I don't know what that thing is, but I'm mesmerized by it. Gotta be here. Line's great. Line's great. Yep. Carbon and hard at the end here. Trying to get shot rock. Good shot. And they do. Beautiful shot. But there is an angle here for Alberta, and it's a pretty simple one, actually. It's close. Oh. They can play this yeah, green right, right here. This one chips out. The one you run back might even clip Hair this line, one. I think, too, eh? or, I think yeah, they no, can. Those works. You're right. They can lie two for sure here. They make this properly. What kind of weight? Big shot here for Barry throwing third stones for Alberta. Up one with the hammer, playing six. Short little run back, little domino effect here. Yeah, yeah, whoa, perfect, yeah, dark, dark, Hit it a hair high. Still work though. Really nice curling shot there by Barry. Alberta now lies three. They have the hammer here in six. Opportunity though with the yellow stones. Can draw right into here. 
It would be very tough for Alberta to get at. Pressure shot here, though, for Mike Desolé. Block it. The big thing is get buried. Take the big end away, right? Normal speed. In turn freeze attempt. Probably the shot of the game so far Wide. for Northern Ontario. Wide. Pretty big hole. We're all there. We don't need it. Coming down. Speed's getting better. I still think it's warm though. It's going to find that Drop hole, which is pretty gross. Uh, all right. Gonna be close to see whose second shot is. Now a chance. Wade just throws it in here. Yeah. You're gonna need some dynamite to get rid of the green ones. Why are we second? This might be the out shot here. They end off for Northern Ontario. That could be the shot they need to play to save the game if Wade gets a good one. You wanna be here, right? Yeah, or you want to take the hit roll away. Wow. There'll also maybe be a shot off of that one. I think you want to go right into the button here almost. Where do we, where do we want it? Half in the four. Well, that's what we want to. So you want to. Edge on edge, yeah. So what they're worried about here is this shot here. Who's second oh, yeah, shot right we're now? second. Oh, are we? Okay. So what they're going to try to do is be somewhere in this huh? area here, so. not buried at all, but try to take Finish that double hard. away. Yeah. What is it, 15? Not quite, nope. I think we need it. Alberta thinks they're lying two already. Which makes this more of a line shot than a weight shot. George! Close. This is really well managed by the guys. Wow. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Makes me wonder how Furby beat these guys all these years, because Randy really wasn't that good. I mean he obviously had really good teammates, but too far. They think it moved too far and there's gonna be access to this. Yeah, I was trying yeah. to get back in. I don't really yeah. disagree with them. Maybe get a hair of spin up as well. You can maybe get the yellow one in there for shot. Not a lot of room though, to be honest. Wow. Glad Mike's throwing this and I'm not. I got news for you. His teammates are glad he's throwing it too instead of me. Straight. Okay. Okay. So in turn, gonna be peel weight, try to paper the rock that Wade just threw, make this double, might get a little action. Spin up a hair to be shot rock. He'd kill to be able to force him to one right now, I think. The game virtually on the line with this shot. Straight. 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 Wow. Okay. Wow, was that unlucky? Just feather ticked. Alberta lies one for sure. Not sure who second shot is yet. Really unlucky there for Mike. That was a great throw. Oh, yeah. I didn't. Almost. 
But I think it might be too green already. If not, they could certainly tap that one. The back yellow one is totally open. Wade said we're two, so they can come down to their own rock, or they could come down to this back yellow. No, but let's—I don't have to be real white. No. Similar. Chance now to put three on the board and take control of this second last round robin game and pool play for Alberta and set up an undefeated matchup with Ontario tonight. This one seems to be out there a bit. Danny's going to have to carve it, I think. It's going to stop in time. Nice weight and even taps it to guarantee the three. End of six, Alberta five, Northern Ontario one. Northern Ontario going to have their work cut out for them now. So we're back here for the seventh end. Live from the Community First Curling Center in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario for the Everest Canadian Senior Curling Championships. My name is Peter Stesky. I'm your host for the week. Huge three-ender for Alberta yeah. breaks this one open. 5-1 yeah. lead. Great start to this end for George. Really important to uh, get your rocks in the rings here, lead stones. You can't afford to throw up any guards or you don't want to with a 5-1 lead. Yep. Yep. Bill throwing up the corner guard. A little, not a lot, though, I don't think. Mine's got, got a, got a curl. But a little bit. Mine's pretty good. Mine's good now. Yeah, that's a nice looking draw here. Said it before, he's had a great game, he's had a great week. Hey, Bill. Second corner guard here being asked to be throw up by Bill. Gonna try to get somebody in here with me tonight. We got a big ladies match up tonight, so. This one's curling. The boys need to scrub it, even them up. It's gonna be a hair high. You like that? Tap it. No. Do we want to be in though? I think so. Bring him in. Looks lighter than mine. Though. They don't need another guard here either. They're going to whip this one down in the rings. Well, they're not going to whip it. They're going to draw it. But looks like it. Oh, oh! I think he's to it. Maybe not quite. Hey, shot. 
Yeah, that's fine. That's exactly where they wanted it. All those rocks in a good spot in front of the T line. But bounce them around a bit. Yeah. Looking to nose hit this. You want to stay frozen to the rock you're hitting. Throwing probably more weight than I like here. I don't think you have to throw very much at this. No need to get rid of these green stones yet. We're only at second stones. You have to make sure you keep your shooter. That's a good option as well. Kill two, didn't quite roll behind that corner. Fully accessible for Dan. Doing second stones here for Alberta. It's going to be snug to the guard. Might even clip it. No, just scrubbed it by. A good shot, but now they can actually use that rock Dan just threw as another corner guard, really, because it does curl in there enough. And the out turn here with second stone, Dale Rizma. Little out turn draw around the corner. Down 5 1, they need to create some offense here. This is an either or. You can chase the back one or the top one. Just can't afford to go buy everything. That's the only mistake you can yeah, make here. Well, guard. No, it's okay. We got our ult. Oh, I didn't realize we were that. Yeah. That's fine. Able to make the peel, open up the back. You continue to lie one if you're Alberta. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Like that. Scott's yeah. going to draw with the intern here. Yeah. I said Dan threw that one. It was obviously Barry. Scott can draw around the works. Use that green rock in the top 12 as a corner guard with his reverse stabilizer. Unable to get that one in buried. Now a chance for Alberta to hit in lie two. Probably like to take the play away from that corner guard. Barry's had a good game as well. These, this Alberta team is going to be very, very tough to beat. Quebec guys have been playing well. Ontario's obviously 5-0. New 
Brunswick's leading Quebec right now, four to two. That'd be their fifth win. They're in the mix. Stackfield here at the Everest Canadian Senior Men's and Ladies Curling Championship, that's for sure. Mentioned it throughout the week. We have the last six winners of the men's in the field. Just chips that one out. Rolls away. So now the end is basically yeah, yeah, yeah. over if you're Northern Ontario. I'd rather get it in here and all. Control up. Open hit here. Really easy yeah. shot for Wade to lie We've three. Then even if Northern Ontario three. drew behind that guard, they'd be third shot. So. Huh? Control? Control up. Yeah. Yeah. Not moving a lot, huh? That should be good, though, I think. Well, we'll roll in a bit. Control! Back. First shot here for Wade White, skip of Alberta. They have the hammer. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry. They just use the hammer to pick up three. I got caught looking at the rock counter. That was my bad. Now you're, uh, I don't know what you do. I guess you have to draw here with your first one. Hope for a mistake out of Alberta. Pretty tough to uh, ask to make the hit and roll here. I think I'd be drawing. I like the draw. Mike likes the roll. I don't think it matters which you play, but uh, you have to make it if you do. Roll's a lot harder than the draw, but there's more upside to the roll. Mike slide with an old school brownie. Used to use those things back in the late 80s. That's not going to roll anywhere. That was a hard shot to make the roll. And now, Wade would love to stay here for sure, make him throw against two. Even if he rolled out, it'd be a tough flank. That green rock's like over buried out on the wing. This one here. I like to stay anyway, yeah. Same? Yeah. So a very nice situation for Alberta, up 5-1. Chance to force here in seven. Control! You gotta go, Hank, you gotta go, you gotta go. Yep! You gotta go. Yep! 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 What do you like the way? That's fine. Big scrub, enough to hold it. Northern Ontario be forced to the draw here. And they're gonna be three down coming home without the hammer. A loss here would move them to three and three and then they'll have to wait and see what happens in the rest of their pool to see if they'll be moving forward to the championship round or not. Same, right? Same. Whoa. Whoa, nice. 
No mistake there by Mike Desolais, skip of Northern Ontario. They put a single on the board in seven, but coming home, it will be Alberta five, Northern Ontario two. Chance for Alberta to move to five and oh and be tied at the top of the pool with Team Ontario. They play each other tonight, game at 8 p.m. It's been a pretty impressive performance here from the Alberta guys. No secret as to why they're one of the favorites here every year. The 2017 champions. 2018 World Senior Champions. Nothing to do here if you're Northern Ontario, but get up those two centers. Gonna need some misses from Alberta for sure. Got it. Good. Good. Shot. That's a nice long one. Those are usually the harder of the two. They just scrubbed that one over. Perfect long center guard. Yeah. Tick attempt here hey. for George hey. White. Lead hey. stone for Alberta. Hurry! He's going to peel that one out so they will replace it. I don't think it was worth it anyway. Ticks have become such a huge shot of the game now. They're thinking of outlawing them. Our last, uh, last competition in Ottawa, the ladies' final came down to an extra end, Northern Ontario at the hammer. Their lead, Rebecca was able to make a tick on the first. She didn't have to on the second, and uh, that kept things open for them for most of the end. We see it all the time with the likes of Lisa Weagle, Don McEwen, I hate to say it even, but Ben Hebert. Leads are just so good at it now. Tell you what, Bell's played very well in this game. It goes unnoticed because he's throwing mostly guards, but uh, those two are perfect. He's had perfectly staggered corners throughout the game. His draw weight's been real, real good. It's just this Alberta team has been a buzzsaw. Yeah. Another chance here for George to play the tick. Whoa! Yes! Yeah! Whoa! 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 Makes that one perfect. Now a pretty nice spot here. You go into peel mode if you're Alberta. It's a helpless feeling if you're Team Northern Ontario. You're gonna throw these centers up and watch them get peeled away. Yeah, I won't Gotta get by. <clears throat> hey, run, get, run, run. Good line. Yep, hammer it. Oh, wait, boy. As far as you go. I got it, Get rid of the guard, bro. They brush that one right into the forefoot. I don't think you have to worry about the run back here. I think you just peel the guard off, make it go away. If you continue to peel it out for the rest of the game, the most Northern Ontario can yeah. lie is two if you make all your peels. Well, yeah, well. <laughs> Danny hated this one out of his hand. They're going for the cross face Brooklyn, Ricky wrong side. Larry low side, take your pick. That wasn't pretty, but it got the job done.
Choice here, you could play the peel, you could rip the one out in the rings. There's an angle here for the double peel, it's just not necessary when you're up three. See what Danny does with his little, and his last one was a little creative. Yeah. Gonna have to go, go on. on this as well. All right. Go hard, still got it, Barry. Oh. Fortunate to get the back, although they were playing it. So a good shot there by Dan. Pretty good. Great. And Northern Ontario starting to run out of rocks here. <laughs> they got four left. Three of them have to count, and they've got one guard up. So. Sort of the story of this game, just on the wrong side of the inch. Like Mike coming down here last stand, he tried that uh, double takeout. Might have been able to spin up and get shot rock. Literally missed it by a millimeter or two. And instead it was a three ender, which brought us to a 5-1 score. Alberta able to force in seven. And now they're three up coming home with the hammer. Simple shot here for Barry. Just make this one go away. No mistake. That one is gone, and I believe so are the chances of Northern Ontario. That will be our final rock of the game. Final score, Alberta 5, Northern Ontario 2. Alberta 5-0 and in a big matchup tonight against Ontario. Northern Ontario moves to 3-3. Three and three. We will be back at 8 p.m. here for the Everest Canadian Senior Men's and Women's Curling Championships feature game. Team Saskatchewan taking on Team Manitoba and Ladies Action. My name is Peter Stesky. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll catch you tonight at 8.